Hello and welcome to Disshelved with Adam White. Today we're going to be discussing Carl Edward Wagner and his Kane books, the first two specifically, which is uh, Death Angel's Shadow, which is his second book, and um, Darkness Weaves, which is his first book. <clears throat> and we'll also discuss briefly this Phantasmagoria Special Edition Series number 5. That's what I've got here. Uh, it's got a great painting of uh, Kane on the front. Or, on the front. And uh, even this little uh, price tag on there is actually part of the painting. So I thought that was kind of cool. But... Um, Anyway, I'm showing this because I have the books on Kindle, so I don't have any covers to show you the physical books. Uh, but Carl Edward Wagner was an excellent writer. He did pulpy kind of stories, but he wrote in the 70s and 80s. And he also did horror stories. Uh, I'm also doing this without notes this time, so we'll see where that goes. Probably right down the toilet, but here's hoping. Uh, anyway, uh, his first book was, um, Darkness Weaves. It was originally published in a heavily edited fashion, and it wasn't really his book anymore, and he was really disappointed with it, and then he finally later got it published in his version and that's the version, of course, that I've read. Now, his books, you can get, there's, I think, three novels and two books of short stories. There's five total. Uh, you can get them all on Kindle for super cheap. Uh, the only issue is that Kindle says there's seven books in the series and there's only five. And all of them are misnumbered. So you need to get them all, but... Uh, you need to look up on Google what the actual printed order of them was so you can read them in order because they don't necessarily take place in a certain order. They're kind of like the Conan stories by Robert E. Howard. They t tell about different times in Kane's life and uh, they're, they're not necessarily in any specific order. But uh, if you do the Kindle versions which I recommend because they're so cheap, uh, that you just need to make sure that you look up and get the correct reading order for them. And like I said, uh, Darkness Weaves was the first one, and it was a novel. And Death Angel's Shadow was a book of three novellas. And uh, they were all excellent. And then this right here is a book uh, put out by Phantasmagoria. I guess it's some kind of magazine, but uh, they did this special all on Carl Edward Wagner, and uh, we'll talk about that too here in a minute. Uh, the first book, Darkness Weaves, uh, was a really good book. It's about Cain and these uh, this woman who wants to be queen, and... Uh, so people that work for her uh, are searching for Cain to lead their navy because he used to be a pirate. And I guess once a pirate, always a pirate. And uh, he was a really good pirate too. And so they get him to do that. And it's a lot of action and... Uh, you just kind of, I'm not going to spoil how it turns out, but uh, it's really good. I have a few issues with Darkness Weaves. Uh, they're not big issues that I've got with it, but I thought they were worth mentioning. It is his first novel, so I'm going to cut him some slack on that. Uh, and he came up with a lot of the ideas even in high school, uh, which is part of what you learned in this. Uh, but Kane was a long-time character he had an idea for. Uh, the first thing he does is what I call the info dump, which is you just dump a bunch of information on the reader. Uh, 
even in this, the characters just say, hey, I'm going to tell you a story about such and such. And then all of a sudden the story goes in this other direction, telling you about some background information that you should know. And I just thought maybe there could have been a more organic way to merge that in with the story than to just kind of say, here's an aside, because he does it three times. And so that was the learning process of a new writer. And, but it, I thought it worth mentioning. Uh, another thing is the first half of the book doesn't have enough cane. Uh, he is the main character, but, uh, and even, even in later parts of the book, Kane just doesn't appear as much as he should. And I understand kind of what he's going for. He's trying to show you Kane as seen through other people's eyes, but it's more interesting when Kane's in it himself. So he could have had a little more Kane, especially in the first half of the book. Uh, the last thing with the first book, Darkness Weaves, was that the dialogue was a little generic. I just thought that it could have been dialogue for any book. Um, some of it wasn't, but there was just a lot of cases, especially with secondary characters and characters that only appeared once or twice, just, it was kind of generic in terms of the dialogue, but all that's outweighed by the fact that he writes action like nobody else. His action is incredible. Some of the best I've ever read. His ship battle scenes, you feel like you're there. Uh, excellent, excellent ship battle scenes. Uh, his uh, sort of, they're not really aliens, but these ancient creatures that he comes up with are really interesting that appear in the book. Uh, and they're, the way they end up helping in the sea battle is really interesting. Uh, Kane is a very interesting character. He is, I mean, people would probably say, oh, he's kind of like Conan and, uh, other sword and sorcery heroes, but he really is different. Uh, he has always been kind of a villain and he's, ne and he's never apologetic for it at all. And he just kind of does whatever suits him at the time. And uh, he is immortal, so, I mean, that's not spoiling anything because they kind of give you that right at the beginning of the book. But he, uh, uh, he's not really necessarily a hero, and he's not necessarily a villain. He just kind of does whatever suits him. And uh, that's very interesting to watch because... Some of the things he does are unexpected uh, that you wouldn't get from a hero, especially, but even that you wouldn't think of from a villain. Now, moving on to the second book, Dar uh, Death Angel's Shadow, it's a book of three novellas. All three are excellent. He fixes all the things that I mentioned that were... Uh, iffy about the first book. He has one minor info dump, not, not a big one, but it really doesn't take away from the story. And, and the ones in the first book didn't either, but, uh, he, he does much better on Cain being in it. Cain's the main character throughout all three stories. Um, you still get good secondary characters though, and you get to see what they're like and whether they're supposedly the good guys, but are they really the good guys? Is Cain the bad guy? You don't really know. You can't really say who's the good guy and who's the bad guy in these stories. And his dialogue is a hundred times better. Excellent dialogue. Uh, he really nails all the characters in that one. And, um, he has an appearance in two of the stories by two classic horror monsters, which was nice to see. 
and he used them in very interesting ways, especially the last, the second story, the last story in the book. Uh, he uses a monster in a, in a new way. And, uh, it was really interesting the way he did it. And the ending was unexpected as well, because you expect everything just to go a certain way when Kane's involved, but he ends up surprising you with what he does sometimes. And all three of the stories are excellent. I highly recommend them. I highly recommend the first book too. Uh, it's, they're just really good stories. The action is second to none. Really great action stories. Robert E. Howard was another good action writer, but he actually started writing and didn't even know about Robert E. Howard because it was a time when Robert E. Howard wasn't in. So he, he didn't steal from him at all. Uh, this is totally Carl Edward Wagner st stuff. Uh, and they're excellent action stories. If you like sword and sorcery fantasy or just good action stories, these are books for you. Uh, I also wanted to mention this Phantasmagoria number no. 5 special edition series. It's the Carl Edward Wagner special collector's edition. Uh, they uh, have, it's all, it's almost all dedicated to him. They have interviews with him. They have interviews with people who knew him. They have lots of art. Uh, let me see if I can find some of the art that they had. There was a couple in here that were just really excellent. Just some stunning illustrations uh, of Kane. And they've got a lot of that. They've got uh, the original art of Kane from uh, Wagner's high school friend who did some art of Kane. Uh, it wasn't as good as what I just showed you, but again, it was high school. So they were learning, learning process. Uh, and it just has a lot of good stuff about Carl Edward Wagner in it. And you get to learn a little about the man and the history behind the books and specifically the Kane books too, but a lot about his horror stories. So I'd, I'd recommend this too as well. Uh, like I said, Really great cover, really nice. It's thick book too for what I thought was a magazine. I mean, it's I think it's print on demand, but it's it's excellent. Uh, great way to learn about the stories. I can't wait to read the other three books. I think two of them are novels, and one of them is a book of uh, novellas or short stories. Uh, I highly recommend all of them. Uh, I'm like I said, I'm looking forward to reading the other ones and the first two were excellent and I hope that you will give them a try and don't forget the Phantasmagoria because it's it's a neat little thing to figure out some information to hear from Carl Edward Wagner himself. Uh, he he died very young through circumstances I think he might have been a heavy drinker uh, and had some health issues because of that. And it's a real shame because we could have got a lot more from him. He was a really good writer with the Kane stories. He wrote a lot of really good horror and he was an excellent editor for anthologies. He did a lot of stuff like that and did horror anthologies and, uh, just really had, uh, a good eye for, for good fiction. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, I highly recommend Carl Edward Wagner's work, especially his Kane stories. And I will see you guys next week.